Well, this should be the penultimate of probably YouTube's most boring series of uh, instructional videos. And the only other one I'll probably do would be when we get the results from those Chinese catalyst heads, see what kind of compounds are in them. So to wrap this one, I want to now distill and clarify probably what I feel is the best thing to go into a kit that you can rebuild a hand warmer and uh, not only give it ALS to bring it back to life but increase the performance. And so starting with the fuel, on the right, from the right to the left is my progression and sequence of how the fuel gets used starts out in the big container, however you may source yours, uh, Coleman Camp fuel, naphtha, any of those sorts of fuels, white gas, uh, that'll work. And then in this bottle, this is the bottle that we use and put our terpenes into. Right now I'm working with a uh, mix of uh, terpenes from mint and basil and uh, that's showing promising results to be using as a deodorizer and so far what it's looking like is if you put 15 mils into a one liter SIG bottle so you put 15 mils from here into there and then add this that should be about the right mix for your deodorizer before you use it in your hand warmer this bottle then would result in about, if it's the large hand warmer, about 320 fills of the large hand warmer uh, for that 125 mil bottle of deodorizer, which for people south of the border, I believe that's around four ounces. Then what I do is now it's mixed in the SIG bottle. It doesn't uh, decant very easily into the small 15 mil bottle that I use for filling so then I'll go from the SIG into the Ronsonol bottle which I just simply keep reusing and then from the Ronsonol I go into the 15 mil for my refills. You will need to find yourself a very small neck funnel in order to transfer from the SIG to the Ronsonol. So that's the progress of the fuel which includes using the deodorizer. Then we move on to what the kit contents will be and here we're looking at the carbon felt and the platinum catalyst head. So this is enough catalyst here to do um, maybe two to four head rebuilds depending on what kind of performance you want from them. If you double your amount of catalyst you may find you'll get more heat out of the hand warmer so it'll burn off quicker and you will get more heat and that also will be a function of how much oxygen is accessing the head, how fast it'll burn. Uh, enough carbon felt here to do one or two hand warmers depending on the size and your procedure, your method. For example, you could consider leaving um, the cotton batten in your warmer body to the halfway mark, uh, which would be, it's hard to see here, but it would be up to, you could leave from there down to the bottom the cotton and then put the carbon felt just up at the up at the top. So that's something you could consider and another thing I found with you don't need an open flame to light them in fact I'm getting better results with a USB lighter uh, similar to this. They're windproof they're not susceptible to altitude and as long as they have a charge they seem to do a respectable job of, sorry that's the charging end, a respectable job of activating the head. You can just see it a bit of a glow there and indeed 
that's enough to get the head going. This head has been sitting for five minutes after it was refilled. It's always best to let it sit and let the vapors come up and um, penetrate the catalyst material so that it'll activate when you apply your heat source to it. So for now that's about all the details of what I'm envisioning as being the ultimate in terms of some accessories for making a hand warmer a little more joyous of an acquisition. Uh, what I'll probably do is offer these lighters and the terpenes, 125 ml bottle of these terpenes here as accessories that can be purchased optionally with the rebuild components of the carbon felt and the platinum catalyst and what I will do with, with each kit as a base is the 15 ml bottle as well and send 15 ml of the deodorizer out in that bottle which you can then use to deodorize your first one liter container of naphtha to see if all that's going to work out for you and fill your needs. So thanks for watching this which I know has been incredibly boring. Even she who must be obeyed never watches any of my videos. She's always got her nose buried in Facebook on the couch whenever I'm playing the back. That's why I can get away with all this stuff on her dining room table. Hey Grams, how's it going? I hate taking skins off with my bare hands, it's freezing. Oh, let me guess, I bet you don't have any hand warmers. Oh. Oh, God. Great, actually I do. Thanks for the reminder. <laughs> no problem.